how do I judge my work? Well, if the front page doesn't end up on Media Watch, then I'm not doing my job. When someone picks up a copy of the telly, they can expect fair and balanced journalism. They'll be disappointed, but they're welcome to expect it. The Daily Telegraph is Sydney's most read newspaper. It's a responsibility that we take very seriously, and I think our photoshops reflect that. I've got some basic templates that I use. There's Nazi, Zombie. Um, as you can see, I keep those in the ALP folder. Uh, it may seem harsh, but we're tough on the libs too. Um, I once put Scott Morrison on the front page as Superman, so balance. Uh, how long do you want the horns on Sarah Hansen Young? Yeah, longer and she'll need a goatee, Darren. I always find with um, Photoshop that it's important to make sure that it still looks a bit shit. Uh, you don't want people thinking Bill Shorten is an actual zombie. I mean, we are still a newspaper, sort of. My job's to write really witty and clever headlines but I just normally write puns. I remember my first headline like it was yesterday. We've jihad it with you. Jihad it. <laughs> <laughs> Still makes me laugh. I've always believed the best way to talk about terrorism is with a play on words. What if we called him Dill Shorten? I don't know, it's pretty high, bro. Can't we just call him Bill Shorten? Caroline, I'm going to need to speak to you in my office. When I first got this job at the Daily Telegraph, I was kind of hoping I'd be doing more investigative work, but so far they've just had me transcribing Gardening Australia for any signs of left-wing bias. Someone's got to do it. I think we're just really inspired still seeing Mark in the office. He's been doing this for years, but he's just still so full of ideas. Look, I know it's a politics story, but can you put Jen Hawkins on there? All right, headline idea, hear me out. Turn bullshit. Will you come up with something better then? Come on, boys. All right, for the front page, I want to see Richard Di Natale in a turtleneck, no pants. I want to see his little environmentally friendly scrub, yeah? What am I most proud of in all my time at the Daily Telegraph? I think it's probably the stance we took against online bullying. Online bullying must end. If you want to bully someone, you should do it in a major metropolitan newspaper like everyone else. Mm -hmm.